this video, I'm going to show you how to find the keyword phrases you need to create content that will rank on the first page of Google. Now, I'll be using a paid tool called SEMrush, but you can find all the keywords you need for this course using the link below, which will give you plenty of time to get all the keywords that you're going to need for this course. By the way, my name is Clint. On this channel, I give tutorials on things like content marketing, SEO, web design, and more. So if that's you, consider subscribing to stay updated when new content comes out. For this course, I'm gonna be using a real business called Atlanta Therapeutic Collective, or ATC. So since I'm an Atlanta native and they seem like they really help people, I wanna show them some SEO love. Here I am in SEMrush, and the place I want to start is the Keyword Magic Tool. I can type in a word or words and get a ton of info of how people use those words in search engines like Google. Since ATC does therapy in Atlanta, I think Atlanta therapy is a good keyword phrase to start out with. Now let's break down what we're seeing here. On the far left, you'll see keyword themes. Since there are a bunch of different types of therapy like physical therapy and float therapy, SEMrush has done the hard work of grouping these keywords so that I don't have to look at every single one. Next, you'll see the keywords themselves, and then you'll see the keyword intent. N means navigational intent, and T means transactional intent. These are not good keywords to go after because people who type these in are looking for a specific brand or business. I stands for informational intent. This is for people who just want questions answered. They're not usually looking to buy, they're looking to learn. These are also called secondary key phrases, as I explained in my first course. These are the keywords that we will focus on for blog posts and other helpful content. C stands for commercial intent. These are our money keywords. People who use these are looking to buy. They're also called primary keywords because they're the keywords that we want to focus on for our product or service pages. Next, you'll see each keyword's monthly search volume. Now, don't be discouraged if the volume is low, especially if it's a commercial intent keyword, because even though less people may be searching for these words, they have a higher buyer intent. Moving along, you'll see the keyword difficulty. Green is easier, yellow is possible, and then red is difficult. Businesses that are newer to SEO are going to want to focus on the green and yellow keywords when starting out because this is going to give you some quicker wins and help you to build up some momentum. The rough way that SEMrush gets this difficulty number is by looking at and averaging the domain authority for all the first page search results for this query. Let me break this down. Atlanta Therapy has a keyword difficulty of 44 according to SEMrush. If I type this keyword into Google, I can use the free Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere to see the domain authority of each of the websites shown on the first page of search results. It's this little guy labeled MozDA, and it's the number out of 100. Quick recap, a website's domain authority is based on how many other websites link to that website. And you can get the full explanation in the first part of this course. Notice how the domain authority for each website is different. The first result has a 93, and then I see 73, 59, 51, 16, 76, 46, in 10, 10, and 19. Now, I know it might have been a minute since middle school math, but if we add all these numbers up and then divide them by the total number here, which is usually 10, we get 40%, which is close to what SEMrush lists. Like I said, this is roughly how it gets its keyword difficulty. Now, if I type our website, atlantatherapeuticcollective.com, into Moz's free domain analysis tool, we see that it has a domain authority of 14. What is really important is if our domain authority is within the range of first page search results. Since we have a DA of 14 and the range of results is between 93 and 10, this is a keyword that we can actually rank for. Last, you'll see the CPC price, which means cost per click average price. When businesses use Google AdWords, they pay to have their website show at the top of search results and they pay this amount every time someone clicks. 
The only reason this is helpful for organic SEO and us is that it lets us know that the keyword is valuable or not. For example, even though Atlantic Physical Therapy Center Tom's River has around 800 monthly searches, it has transactional intent, and it has a zero CPC price. This tells us it is not worth targeting. Now, there are three main criteria for choosing a keyword phrase. One, it aligns with your business's product or service. Are these keywords connected with a problem that your business solves? Could any of the people who see the content you create around these keywords be a potential customer? Two, it's not too competitive for you, meaning that you have the opportunity to actually rank for it. This also means that your domain authority is within the range of first page search results. Three, people are actually searching for it. There are actually people who want this information on Google, so the search volume isn't zero. Now let's find our primary keywords with commercial intent. I see my two variations for Atlanta therapy here. I'm going to check both of these and then click add keywords to list. I'll create a list called primary keywords. Now I want to repeat this process for all the variations that might be helpful. For example, Atlanta counseling might also be helpful. I notice that it has less search traffic, but it still has commercial intent. I'll take this and add it to my list too. A quick note about local keywords. Local keywords will always be easier to rank for than global or national keywords. Atlanta therapy can get results pretty quickly, but online therapy, well, as you can see, even though it has much higher monthly search volume, it will be much harder to rank for too. Now, I looked at ATC's website and noticed that they do other types of therapy too. They have things like low cost therapy, relationship therapy, and sex therapy. I'm going to type in each of these with and without the word Atlanta and look for keywords that have commercial intent and are not read or difficult to rank for. My goal is to have a list of around 20 to 30 primary commercial keywords. Next, I want to find my secondary keywords with informational intent. Remember, people are more likely to link to these pages if they are truly helpful and informative. And the more that people link to my website, the higher domain authority I will have, which will allow me to go after harder keywords with a higher monthly search volume. Is all this starting to make sense? Another type of service that is listed on ATC's website is trauma therapy. Now, when I type this into SEMrush, I see that there are a lot of keywords with high traffic that are also really hard to rank for. To make it easier to rank for, I'll click the drop-down filter under KD for keyword difficulty. I'll select a range between 49 and zero, a custom range. And then I can see that all of the results will show up. I'm specifically looking for keywords like online trauma therapy and trauma touch therapy that have a decent amount of search volume and have informational intent. I'll look for these keywords and create a list called secondary keywords. My goal is to have about 100 secondary informational intent keywords on my list. Once you have all the keywords that you want, you can go to keyword manager, click the list that you've created and then click export. We have one more last important step in our keyword research. We need to type each keyword into Google and ensure a few things. One, for primary keywords, that there is commercial intent related to our product or service. You don't want to spend time ranking a keyword that is not actually connected to what you do. Two, you want to check if the target key phrase is in the URL and meta title. If you're unsure if a keyword phrase is worth going after on the first page search results because it might be too difficult, press Command or Control F and type in the that key phrase. If you notice that no one has optimized the URL or the title of the web page for that keyword, it will be easier to rank for. For example, for Atlanta therapy, we see the name of one business is Atlanta therapy, but none of the other web pages have optimized the title of their page for this keyword phrase. Three, again, you want to make sure that your domain authority falls within the range of the highest and the lowest first page search results. Your goal is to have one brand key phrase. This is the most important 
primary key phrase that you want to rank for, and this is what you're going to optimize your homepage around. It should have the highest search volume, and it should definitely have commercial intent. You'll want between three and 10 other primary key phrases. The exact number is gonna depend on how many different types of actual products or services that you have. And lastly, you'll need 52 secondary key phrases. One secondary key phrase to target for every week in the year. And it's okay if you don't write 52 articles in the year, but you want to make sure that you have enough just in case. Next, I'm going to explain how to use these keywords to create website content for your homepage, your product or service pages, and your blog. If you want the free SEO guide for these courses that cover all the stuff I talk about in this video and more, then click the link in the description box and download it for yourself. If you wanna see the next part of this video, then go ahead and click it here. I mean, now that you have your keywords, you should click that video. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna make pages. We're gonna talk about pictures. We're gonna talk about what makes the best page. You're gonna love it.